Hello, my name's Kurt. Uh, welcome to my fun quiz, uh, number 106 in the series. Uh, as usual, uh, all you need to do to complete the quiz, very simple. Grab yourself a pen or a pencil, a bit of paper, just to jot down your answers. Um, I'll give you all the questions first. All the answers come at the end and it takes approximately just over 30 minutes. So that's all you need. So if you're ready, good luck and enjoy this quiz. It has six rounds, eight questions in each round. And your rounds for this one are TV and movies, food and drink, a connection round, what connects all the answers, geography, music, and as always, some pictures to finish off with. So if you're ready, then here we go. Round number one, TV and movies. Question one. What planet is the setting for the film Avatar? What planet is the setting for the film Avatar? Question two. Which singing competition was the first to feature Simon Cowell as a judge? Which singing competition was the first to feature Simon Cowell as a judge? Number three, in the 2006 movie Click, what device does Adam Sandler use to fast forward through his life? In the 2006 movie Click, what device does Adam Sandler use to fast forward through his life? Question four. Which entertainment show featured the phrase, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... So question four, which entertainment show featured the phrase, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... Number five, in the 1963 movie, The Pink Panther, what was The Pink Panther? Classic film. In the 1963 movie, The Pink Panther, what was The Pink Panther? Okay, question six. Which comedian and actor plays Alan Partridge? Which comedian and actor plays Alan Partridge? Question seven. Which silent movie star was played by Robert Downey Jr. in 1992? Which silent movie star was played by Robert Downey Jr. in 1992? And finally, in round number eight. What is the surname of the superintendent in charge of AC12 in the series Line of Duty? So what is the surname of the superintendent in charge of AC12 in the TV series Line of Duty? Great series. OK, on to round two, food and drink. And your first question. By what name is deer meat known? By what name is deer meat known? Question two. In the United States, what is another name for corn?
In the United States, what is another name for corn? Number three, what does en croute mean? What does en croute mean? <clears throat> Question four. Vegetables cut julienne are sliced in what manner? Vegetables cut julienne are sliced in what manner? What shape are they? Question five. From where in the world does tarama salata originate? It's easy for you to say. From where in the world does tarama salata originate? Try saying that word when you're drunk, tarama salata. Okay, question six. With what country do you associate the drink Advocar? With what country do you associate the drink Advocar? Number seven. What two flavours make up Lilt, the drink? One point for each correct one. What two, what two fruit flavours make up Lilt? OK, and finally, what malaria medication was originally added to soda along with sugar to form the first tonic water. What malaria medication was originally added to soda along with sugar to form the first tonic water? Okay, on to round three, our connection round. So what connects all the answers? Remember, once you've got the connection, just check that all your answers do fit it. OK, so question one. What naturally occurring atmospheric phenomena is an electrical discharge of short duration and high voltage accompanied by a bright flash? Long question, short answer. What naturally occurring atmospheric phenomena is an electrical discharge of short duration and high voltage accompanied by a bright flash. Question two. What weather phenomenon do the Americans call a twister? What weather phenomenon do the Americans call a twister? Number three, according to the proverb, who do the spoils go to? According to the proverb, who do the spoils go to? OK, number four. What is the capital city of Australia? I think that one, if you haven't got it already, might just give the connection away. For some, maybe not all. What is the capital city of Australia? Number five. What P is another word for ghost? Like blockbusters, I have a P, please, Bob. 
What P is another word for ghost? Number six, what title is held by Prince Edward? What title is held by Prince Edward? I'm sure you'll have the connection now. And number seven, what car manufacturer produced the E-Type? What car manufacturer produced the E-Type? And finally then, question eight, oh sorry, no. Question eight, in Roman mythology, who was the son of Jupiter and was famous for his strength? There are 10 questions in this round, not eight. My mistake. In Roman mythology, who was the son of Jupiter and was famous for his strength? Gave you a couple of bonus questions to get the connection. Number nine, in Star Trek, what planet did Mr. Spock come from? You know that one, then it's the connection is a given if you know that one. In Star Trek, what planet did Mr. Spock come from? And finally, oh, that, that should read question 10. Question 10, what connects the answers for questions one to nine? So what connects the answers for questions one to nine, which I'm sure you have got. Let's move on to round four, which is geography. And your first question in this round, what is the capital city of New Zealand? What is the capital city of New Zealand? It can always be a bit tricky, this one. On to question two. Which UK city is situated furthest west? Is it Bristol or Edinburgh? Which UK city is situated further west, Bristol or Edinburgh? So if you're not quite sure, it's a 50-50. Number three, if you completed the Three Peaks Challenge, which three UK mountains would you have climbed? One point for each correct answer. Three pointer question. Don't get these off on my quizzes. If you completed the Three Peaks Challenge, which three UK mountains would you have climbed? Okay, on to four. Which river flows through the four European capital cities of Vienna, Budapest, Bratislava and Belgrade? Which river flows through the four European capital cities of Vienna, Budapest, Bratislava and Belgrade? The same river runs through them all. Number five. Ooh, what is the currency of Russia? What is the currency of Russia? Question number five. Question seven. If you travel to the Canary Islands, would you be ahead, behind, or the same time as the UK? So again, one in three chance, if you're not sure of the answer. You should know if you've been on holiday. If you travel to the Canary Islands, would you be ahead, behind, or the same time as the UK? 
and number eight, what do the French call the English Channel? We call it the English Channel. But what do the French call the English Channel? That is your final geography question. And that brings us on then to our music round. And to help you in this round, all the answers begin with the letter S. So a nice little clue there for you. OK. Letter S. Question one. Which artist had a number one hit with Nothing Compares to You in 1990? Which artist had a number one hit with Nothing Compares to You in 1990? Number two, which song about Jesus gave Cliff Richard a number one hit at Christmas in 1990? Of course, over 30 years ago now. Cool, oh dear. Which song about Jesus gave Cliff Richard a number one hit at Christmas in 1990? Number three, what song gave Maria McKee a number one hit in 1990, which was written for the movie soundtrack for Days of Thunder. What song gave Marie McKee a number one hit in 1990, which was written for the movie soundtrack for Days of Thunder? Starring Tom Cruise and parts of the movie were in the music video. Number four. Which girl band launched Channel 5 in 1997? Which girl band launched Channel 5 in 1997? Number 5. What song gave Wigfield her only number one hit in 1994? What song gave Wigfield her only number one hit in 1994? Question six. Which song gave East 17 a Christmas number one hit? In 1994. Which song gave East 17 a Christmas number one hit in 1994? Beginning with the letter S. And number seven. Which band topped the charts in 1998 with a cover version of the Bee Gees hit Tragedy? Which band topped the charts in 1998 with a cover version of the Bee Gees hit Tragedy? I could do some hand movements, give you a clue, but I'm not going to. OK, your final music question. Number eight. Which band had 70s and 80s top 10 hits, including We Are Family, Frankie and Lost in Music? Which band had 70s and 80s top 10 hits, including We Are Family, Frankie and Lost in Music? OK, on to our final round. Pictures, eight pictures for you. And your first picture is, can you name this actress? Can you name this actress? Picture number two, what country has this national flag? What country has this national flag?
Okay, number three. What company is being advertised here? What company is being advertised here in this picture? Question four, who is this sports person? Who is this sports person? Question number four. Picture number five. What is the name of this politician? What is the name of this politician? Love him or hate him? Question six, can you name this singer? Can you name this singer? Number seven, what company is this the logo for? What company is this the logo for? And your final picture. What object is this a close-up of? What object is this a close-up of? I'm sure you'll get this one. Right, that's it. That's your final picture question and your final quiz question. Six rounds, all done. Hopefully you've managed to uh, put an answer for everything, guessed or otherwise. Hopefully you've known them all. But we shall find out. And we shall find out now as we go through the answers for you. And here we go then. Start off with round number one, which is our TV movies. Question one. What planet is the setting for the film Avatar? Pandora was the planet. Number two, which singing competition was the first to feature Simon Cowell as a judge? It was Pop Idol, way back. Number three, in the 2006 movie Click, what device does Adam Sandler use to fast forward through his life? He uses a universal remote control. Remote control will do. Number four, which entertainment show featured the phrase, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be, it was stars in their eyes, as contestants pretended to be a star. Number five, in the 1963 movie, The Pink Panther, what was the Pink Panther? It was a big diamond. Number six, which comedian and actor plays Alan Partridge? It's played by Steve Coogan. Number seven, which silent movie star was played by Robert Downey Jr. in 1992? He played Charlie Chaplin. And number eight, what is the surname of the superintendent in charge of AC12 in the TV series Line of Duty? It is Hastings. OK, on to round two, your food and drink. Question one, by what name is deer meat known? It is venison. Number two, in the United States, what is another name for corn? Well, they seem to call it maize. Number three, what does on croute mean? It means that something's in pastry. 
So Beef Wellington would be en croute, it's in pastry. Number four, vegetables cut julienne are sliced in what manner? They are cut into thin strips. Number five, from where in the world does taramasalata originate? It originates in Greece. If you've been on holiday, you've probably had it. Question six, with what country do you associate the drink Advocar? It is the Netherlands, drunk in this country at Christmas to make snowballs. Number seven, what two fruit flavours make up lilt? Well, the two flavours are grapefruit and pineapple. A totally tropical taste. Number eight. What malaria medication was originally added to soda along with sugar to form the first tonic water? It was quinine. And it was first done in India to stave off malaria. OK, connection round next. Let's see how you got on here. Remember, 10 questions in this round. So your first question was, what naturally occurring atmospheric phenomena is an electrical discharge of short duration and high voltage accompanied by a bright flash? That is lightning. Number two, what weather phenomena do the Americans call a twister? And they call a tornado a twister. Number three, according to the proverb, who do the spoils go to? To the victor go the spoils. So victor is your answer. Number four, what is the capital city of Australia? The capital is Canberra. Number five, what P is another word for ghost? Phantom is that word. Number six, what title is held by Prince Edward? He is the Earl of Wessex, that is his title. Pardon me, question seven. What car manufacturer produced the E-Type? It was produced by Jaguar. Classic car now. Number eight. In Roman mythology, who was the son of Jupiter and was famous for his strength? It was Hercules. And number nine. In Star Trek, what planet did Mr. Spock come from? He came from Vulcan. He was a Vulcan. So, and I'm sure you've got the answer. So that question 10, what connects the answers for questions one to nine? Well, the connection is they are all RAF aircraft post-World War II. If you put RAF aircraft, fair enough. But they are all post-World War II. OK, well done if you got the connection. Well done if you got all the questions right. On to round four, our geography round. Number one, what is the capital city of New Zealand? That is Wellington. Number two. Which UK city is situated further west, Bristol or Edinburgh? It is Edinburgh. Trust me, check the map. Number three. If you completed the Three Peaks Challenge, which three UK mountains would you have climbed? So they are Ben Nevis in Scotland, Snowdon in Wales and Scaffold Pike in England. So one point for each correct one and well done if you got all three. Number four, which river flows through the four European capital cities of Vienna, Budapest, Bratislava and Belgrade? It is the river Danube, believe it or not. Big river. Question five, what is the currency of Russia? It is the ruble. Number six, what is the language of Brazil? Is it Spanish, French or Portuguese? It is Portuguese. It was once run by Portugal. Number seven, if you travel to the Canary Islands, would you be ahead behind or the same time as the UK? You'd be the same time. It's on the same line. Again, trust me, look at the map. Question eight, what do the French call the English Channel? They call it La Manche. Well done if you got that. Okay, on round five, 
music. Remember, all the answers begin with the letter S. So question one, which artist had a number one hit with Nothing Compares to You in 1990? It was Sinead O'Connor. Number two, which song about Jesus gave Cliff Richard a number one hit at Christmas in 1990? It was Saviour's Day. Number three, what song gave Maria McKee a number one hit in 1990, which was written for the movie soundtrack for Days of Thunder? It was Show Me Heaven. Number four, which girl band launched Channel 5 in 1997? It was the Spice Girls. God, the fifth channel on TV. That was exciting. Number five. What song gave Wigfield her only number one hit in 1994? It was Saturday Night. Number six, which song gave E17 a Christmas number one hit in 1994? It was Stay Another Day. Number seven, which band topped the charts in 1998 with a cover version of the Bee Gees hit Tragedy? It was Steps. Tragedy. And number eight, which band had 70s and 80s top 10 hits, including We Are Family, Frankie and Lost in Music. It was Sister Sledge. So on to our final round, then our pictures. Number one, can you name this actress? Well, the actress is Helena Bonham Carter. Been in loads of films. Question two, what country has this national flag? Turkey has that national flag. Number three, what company is being advertised in this picture? It is Aldi. Kevin the carrot there in the picture. Always been advertised at Christmas. Number four, who is this sports person? It is Jensen Button, Formula One driver. Number five, what is the name of this politician? <laughs> Love him or hate him? It is Nigel Farage. And a huge input into Brexit. And number six, can you name this singer? That is Kate Bush. Still going after ooh, lots and lots of years. Number seven, what company is this the logo for? It's the logo for Bacardi, Bacardi Rum the biggest rum distiller in the world. Number eight, what object is this a close-up of? It's a close-up of a pair of nail clippers, which I'm sure if you didn't get, you'll look at it now and you know, you know. So there you are, that's your last answer. So um, Hopefully on your questions, show your answer sheet. Hopefully you've got lots of ticks, not many crosses, and you've got a big smile on your face and you're feeling smug. But if you're not, don't worry, because it's all just a bit of fun. And hopefully you've learned something along the way, because uh, that's what it's all about. Bit of fun, bit of fun. So that's it. Uh, another quiz is done and dusted. So uh, say, just remains me to say thank you once again for taking part in this quiz with me. Uh, say this is number 106 try the other 105 i've got on youtube they're all of a similar format if you enjoyed the quiz and you know somebody that likes a quiz please share it with them see if they enjoy it too and if you have any feedback at all please let me know i'm open to uh, constructive criticism but i'm also open to lots of praise anyway that's it thank you for joining me um, and for now until uh, i see you on another quiz take care and for me it's um Bye-bye.